hi hello welcome to my video welcome back if you've been here before and hi if you are new i am pixie i will preface this as i mentioned yesterday in my video that i have a cold i've woke up today feeling even worse that's the joy of having children so if i sound even worse or croakier or more nasal i apologize believe me i am fed up with getting ill as well <laughs> everybody's ill all the time Anyway, today's video is day three, and this will be titled The Path to Three Stars. So I have a quick, easy, non-cheating way to get three stars, and I thought I'd tell you guys in this video. So a long time ago, I think I was searching the internet, and I was like, how do I get three stars? Because it was taking so long, it was like, bang, right at the beginning. And obviously back in lockdown days, we didn't mind, because what else did we have to do? We had all the time in the world to grind materials and get nook mile points and all that, and etc. And then obviously we got past, we got past lockdown time and people started treasure island hunting and things like that, which is where you can, the best way and the quickest way, I will tell you now, if you have somebody else who plays Animal Crossing and they're quite ahead of you, or even if you've got two switches and... And that's not just for YouTubers, my mom, she loved Animal Crossing so much that she got two Switches to play on two different islands. So if you do have the help, and this is an, I mean, you can do this on Treasure Islands, but even if you don't want to do that, get somebody to bring you the gold tools. Now that will get you your not mile points really, really high and you'll be able to unlock other things a lot quicker. And then obviously time traveling. So they're like the basics. Now to get to three stars, you need a few of these things. People think you need no weeds. That's not true. You can have weeds as long as it's not excessive, excessive, excessive weeds. As you've seen, I haven't really done any of the third level at the back of my island. I haven't touched it. So don't worry about getting rid of weeds. The best thing you can do if you want to get rid of weeds is sell them or save them for when leaf comes along or back them up for DIY projects because you might find online that certain blogs or like information lists says get rid of all the weeds. That's not true. Don't worry about the weeds. The weeds don't actually affect your score at all, I don't think, or they have to be really, really, really overgrown. And if you have played before and you've got to Harv's Island, you'll know for a fact that Leaf will only get rid of your weeds if you have an excessive amount of weeds. He's like, are you sure you don't really have that many? So based on that, you don't have to worry about that. I have cleaned all the weeds because, well, like I said, not these ones, as you can see on screen at the minute, I've left them because they don't count. <laughs> they don't count to any of the scores, so don't worry about that. Now, second thing you will need is you will need at least 200 flowers. Now, these can't be the flowers that are already on the island because they don't count. So what you can do is you can buy from the shop. You can buy the flower packets. You'll see in today's video, I buy flower packets in bulks of five, and I just put them all near my resident services because I'm going to get rid of them once I've got two three stars because they're not the flowers that I necessarily want. I tend to buy colours that I think will breed hence I would like pink flowers on this island because Everbay is my forever island so it's how I want to do it. So you'll see they're literally all at the front of resident services. They're crazy. I water them every day. I also will time travel so they're all fully grown. Okay, so if you've got your checklist, check number one, you need at least 200 flowers because Isabel will always talk to you about natural potential. That is your flowers. Now number two is you need at least 50 pieces of fencing and it has to be 50. I mean, I say that I've always put 50. I think when I've put less in the past, it hasn't counted. So I'm gonna say 50. Tom Nook gives you 50 pieces of fence. If that's the fence you want to use eventually, great. If it's not, don't worry about it. You saw me in day number two. I put 50 pieces of fence in randomly. I will put it again, either around resident services or at the back or at the side, just to get those 50 pieces of fencing down. It really doesn't matter. We're gonna pick all of this up once we've got to three stars. So let's have a recap. 200 flowers, 50 piece fencing, and the next one that you need is at least 27 items on the ground. Again, you'll see it in this video, you'll have seen it in last video. I put decor anywhere near resident services. It's awful. I would never use the hi-fi 
like music thing, I wouldn't use the black record player. I personally wouldn't use the gong because that's not my theme, but they're all down. And you get that every day by either shaking your trees, going to Nook's Cranny. Residents will give you gifts to help you build it up. If you go to Nook My Island, I think on every island there is an item in the trees. Give your trees a shake, watch out for the bees. I know a lot of people do it holding their net. I don't, I risk it and I get ready to run. So that's how you get your items. 27, place them down, wherever, it doesn't matter. Like I said earlier, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pick them up anyway. And finally, you're gonna need at least seven villagers and they have to have been moved in. And that's it, basically. So 200 flowers, 50 pieces of fencing, 27 objects, and seven villages and that's what I did on this island I might have put more than 27 down but I think it's minimum of 27 anytime you get a gift right at the beginning just put it down somewhere it doesn't matter even if it's driving you mad because it doesn't match with anything else it really doesn't matter so obviously I'm filming this voiceover after I filmed this I filmed this yesterday now it's the morning this will go up this afternoon I've already picked up <laughs> nearly everything. I've picked up all the flowers, except for the pink and the white ones. I've popped those on the beach because they're the ones that I want to use. I've picked up all the objects. I've sold a lot of them that I'm not going to use. So yeah, I hope that's helped anybody who's trying to get to three stars. And obviously, as you watch this video, I get to three stars. So now the fun really starts. And because I've spoke a lot of this video, I am gonna continue and giving you some sort of tips and advice that help me and I hope they can be helpful for other people. So ways to get money, get your fossils assessed and what he doesn't need, sell them. They sell for a lot of money, but if you want to build friendship up, you can get them assessed. I don't, I can't remember which way it is. Give you, give you villagers fossils. That really highs up their friendships. I think, I'm sure it's when they've been assessed. I haven't built friendships with villagers for a really long time, except for Marina. So I will double check on that one, but uh, giving them fossils, that will build up the friendship. But selling your fossils, you'll get a fair amount of money. I've got a lot of my money from selling fossils. Do your money tree every single day. I think, I don't know if they change the mechanisms of it because I used to be able to get like 90,000 sometimes and that doesn't work anymore. So I have wasted some money trying to test that because once again, I've not needed money so I haven't grinded for money for a really long time because even if I haven't gone on to Treasure Island I always keep an island opened on my switch light because then I can visit over drop money off I usually drop off millions of like bells but obviously for this challenge this 30 day challenge that I'm doing I want to do everything authentically natural to the game now I don't use the word cheating because how can you cheat at a game that you can't really cheat at? People just play it in different ways. And obviously I've had a few islands on this YouTube channel now and most of the stuff has been from Treasure Island, from moving from different island to different island. But I didn't want to do that for this. I want to go along with the newbies, hello, who have just started playing Animal Crossing because yes, the game is three years old, but people still get it for Christmases and birthdays and they might find it one day in the shop and be like, oh, I want to play that game. So I want to prove on my channel that you can still play it in the air quotes old fashioned way, the air quotes the way it's meant to be played. Because again, I don't think, I don't think there's a way to play this game. People have time travel from day dot. The first ever island I had for the first couple of months, I didn't really time travel. The only reason I started time traveling was to get rid of Rocket. Now, if you're new on this channel, you won't be aware of my hatred for Rocket. Now, out of all the villagers, she is my least favorite of all time. I had her on my first ever island. I had her before I knew you could keep restarting to have a certain like airport, a certain villages, a certain fruit. And it took me months to get rid of her. And I mean literal months, not time travel months, even though I was time traveling literal literal months because right at the beginning of the game, I was gifting her, I was gifting everybody because I was playing the rules. And it's my biggest regret ever. <laughs> so, yeah. My second piece of advice would be don't befriend someone that you don't like. Even if you want to play the game properly, there are so many villagers that you'll be able to friend at some point. They're amazing and you'll build up bonds and you'll find ones that you really, really, really love. And obviously I have three that spring to mind straight away and that is Marina. She is literally everything on my island. She's my 
introduction she's my little like subscribe picture i love her she's on every island i will be getting her for this island i'll probably get her into the caravan caravan no the campsite 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 oh my god oh my god pixie just stop because i have her amiibo obviously and i'll just i'll get her in using the amiibo i don't have to trade for her i don't have to search for her i mean i will search but I'm not going to be getting Nook Mel tickets like I have on other islands. I'm going to be grinding for them. My next favourite is Marshall. I haven't had Marshall overly loads on some of the islands. He was on my Christmas one because I thought he suited Christmas. And finally is Clay and I have Clay here and if you've noticed he's one of the only ones that I've started talking to. I've spoke to Gala a few times. I have spoke to Deirdre because I don't mind keep. Is it Deirdre? Deirdre. I don't mind keeping her. She's cute for a little bit. So yeah, don't befriend villagers that you aren't going to want to keep on the island because my friendship with Rocket was so high, even though I hated it, because I'd just done what I thought I was meant to do. Now obviously, you can play the game that way. I watch Vixella play on Twitch, even though she's a simmer on YouTube. She wants photos of her villagers before they leave, so if that's what you want to do, then fair play. But my advice is if you really hate someone, speak to them once don't talk to them again <laughs> literally don't get past that stage because their bubble will come up i think it's is it 30 days to begin with and then like 15 or it's always about 15 days and then i think it's like five between again that could be wrong it's been a long time since i've played it this way because if i want to get someone to leave i just time travel but also if you do want someone to leave time travel it doesn't destroy your gameplay it might get a few more weeds but if you do it day by day it, it doesn't really matter and they can go back to the day that you want to my other piece of advice is don't listen to like die hard to like oh if people time travel they're cheating if people do that just just don't listen i think i've said numerous times especially on this video that animal crossing is a game to be played how you want to play it it helped so many people and i mean so many people with mental health in the lockdown in 2020 it came along not realizing it would be a lot of people savior now obviously i've only had my channel for a year now but i have been playing animal crossing i didn't get it the first month because i couldn't afford it and i didn't have a switch so i think i got it if i think it came out was it may they no april they came out i got it the month after so i was already a couple of weeks behind everybody else but i played for hours it literally calmed me down when i was petrified of everything else in the world we shot ourselves off from family and friends because everybody was so scared and this little game this little cute cozy play whenever you want game play it however you want game came along so don't ever listen to anybody who He's like, oh, that's not playing that way. Because even though we are quite a nice community, with any communities, there are toxic players. <laughs> and they believe that you have to play a certain way, and that's not true. So there are my little tips for playing Animal Crossing, for starting out Animal Crossing, from how you get from one star or zero stars to three stars. And I really hope it's helped out. I'm sorry that this voice has been... This voice? This voiceover has possibly been slightly choppy. I'm really struggling to breathe. I say struggling to breathe, I can obviously breathe. I have asthma, so when I am full of cold, as other people, it ain't easy being wheezy. I'm like, <gasps> so I've tried to like cut out me breathing really heavily because I know it can be annoying and I am so sorry. But yeah, I've really enjoyed talking through this video. <laughs> It's taken me a lot longer to film the voiceover than the actual video itself. Again, I think I've managed to get this video down to like 15 minutes of it, 15, 16 minutes. But this is day three. We finally got to three stars, baby. Here we are, we're all gonna clap. Yay! Yay me. And we're about to see the lovely, the infamous KK Slider. And I'll be back in like two seconds to say goodbye. Oh. 
Do you know what? No matter how many times I've restarted, that is my favourite thing ever. It does seem tedious after a little while because he does sing for a while, but it just makes me so happy and I'm so glad that I'm playing the game how I would have played it back in 2020. Well, kind of. I didn't time travel then, but I have no issue with time traveling now. It's not cheating. It's not. So anyway, as always, thank you so much if you managed to watch this far. Give it a like if you think it's worth liking. And I have a special messenger who wants to say something to all of you. Subscribe to Pixie Subscribe to Pixie Crossings and we'll see you hopefully in the next video. Fingers crossed. Are you going to say bye? Bye. Bye. Say if they can't see you. Bye. bye.